What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, here we are again. Uh, we just made it past a thousand subscribers. So thank you all who subscribed. Really, really appreciate it. It really means a lot to a creator when they put in all the work and it's starting to pay off. So thank you for that. Anyway, so I was at Target today and lo and behold, there was some more Oreo flavors. And you know what happens when there's more Oreo flavors. I have to bring them to you. So let's do this, shall we? As you may have noticed, we have five flavors to go through today because I'm not just going to do one or two because I get, we got to make this worth your while, right? So um, what should we start off with? You've seen the flavors. You know what we got a hold of. So let's go with, uh, how about dark chocolate first? Why not? I'm usually not a huge fan of dark chocolate to be honest, but it's an Oreo. How can that really be bad, right? So we're gonna run with it. Oh wow. I don't even see that one, but that's like a double stuff going on, but with chocolate. Chocolate cookie and chocolate Oreo filling. Pfft, hello. I've got the whole cocoa thing going on. You know, it's really not bad. Really don't know what to compare it to, but it's like somebody took a piece of fudge and put it between two Oreo cookies. About the best way I could really explain it. You know, surprisingly, I didn't really think I was gonna like this one. But well, this is actually pretty darn good, but then again, I love fudge, so hello. Anyway, we'll put that one aside. We'll move on to something else. How about carrot cake Oreo? Now, that really can't be too bad, really. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Ooh, you know what? It smells like a like one that we've had before, but. Mm. It's almost double stuffed. For yeah, it smells like carrot cake. That's believable. As you can figure, it has like the vanilla cookie going on. A little bit of cream filling. Mm. Oh, dude. Very carrot cake-ish. Is that a word? Okay, it is now. You know, good job, Nabisco. That is really good. Okay. I may have a new favorite Oreo. Oh, yeah, these are really good. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to get caught up in that. Although I could. Okay. We're going to move on. Okay. Now, you may have noticed this in the preview. But these are pretty cool. Now, we all like double stuff, we all like mega stuff, but the most stuff, huh? Because you can never quite have enough cream filling. Yeah, I think we can roll with that. Now check these bad boys out. It basically looks like they crammed a marshmallow in between two Oreo cookies. I mean, that's like, I don't know if you can really understand the real size of this, but it's like if you took two mega stuffs and put them together without the middle cookies, you would have one of these. I mean, these are massive. 
but I have to eat with that. Oh, mm. don't even get me started. That's wonderful. No, oh, okay. Excuse me for just a moment. But, okay. Now, they do have seasonal type Oreos. I know a lot of people have probably seen the ones in Target and Walmart and everything that are the the white fudge covered Oreo right around Christmas time. They came out with something new. Chocolate fudge covered Oreos. Huh? Which, um, I mean, how can that be bad? Again, I really don't see the downside in any of these. I really don't. This is going to be one of those times when it's really going to be hard to pick just one favorite. Because, I mean, being an Oreo fan like I am already, I come in a nice handy little plastic bag once you open up the box. Yeah. Not terrible. And of course, only four per row, but 12 cookies, but still, so what? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are pretty darn wonderful. Fudge covered Oreos, white fudge, chocolate fudge. Yeah. It, it makes absolutely zero difference to me as far as that goes because they're both great. I usually lean more toward milk chocolate anyway. So those are like a duh, you know, for me. But we are coming up on a sp specific time of year. So we're coming up on, you guessed it, Valentine's Day. So. Oreo did have to come out with the Love Oreos. Well, according to this, you know, a little bit of um, pink frosting between chocolate cookies. I'm just assuming it's going to be either, I don't know, probably cherry, strawberry, who knows. Ooh, that's different. That is way different. Can you really see that it's pink inside of there? I don't know. Pink chocolate. You got a little heart going on there and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, not terrible. Got your stereotypical Nabisco thing going on there. You got your stereotypical little heart going on there. Does anybody remember those, those little strawberry candies came in a little pink wrapper? Back in the day, I, they might still have mine, I don't know, I haven't seen them for years. It tastes like they put one of those in between these chocolate cookies. That would be about the best way I could really explain it. But anyway, not great though. I don't know, they're okay. I wouldn't crave them. But, okay. Now grading these things from like one to five, I'm gonna keep with what I originally said. Carrot cake Oreos, number one. These are freaking awesome. Digging them. We're gonna roll with that. But, a very close second, and I really didn't think I'd pick these, but dark chocolate Oreos, pretty darn good. I didn't really, see myself really digging these as much, but I mean, these are pretty darn good. So, I mean, chocolate upon chocolate, who knew? So, and then we're gonna roll with, uh, the third place is gonna be really tough, because between the most stuff and the uh, fudge covered Oreos, I mean, we're gonna have to go with probably the uh, most stuffed Oreo, because more filling, more flavor, mm, you know. More is more, more is good. And then, of course, 
We'll, we'll run with the uh, fudge-covered Oreos because they're fudge-covered Oreos, man. I mean, need I say more? So, okay, which brings us to last place, which, uh, you know, sorry for all those uh, Valentine's fanatics out there, but I love Oreos. Didn't make the cut as much as I thought they would. So, not my favorite, but uh, that's okay because the guys at work will love them. I'll take them to them, who knows. So just in case you're wondering where all my excess Oreos go that uh, don't get devoured at the home, they go to work. Okay, well those were wonderful. But anyway, just wanna say thanks to everybody again for uh, the thousand sub subscribers so far and all of the views and everything that uh, up till now I really appreciate it and um, anyway that would be another continuation to the Oreo saga so thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time